Hi, and welcome to this week's God Slot. I'm Tim, I'm one of the Jam leaders, and I know that over the last couple of weeks you've been looking at sayings of Jesus from a, a series called the Beatitudes, and this week we're going to look at another one, and this one is Blessed Are the Meek. Now to help me explain to you what we mean by Blessed Are the Meek, I'm going to use this guy. I don't know if you can see it, but that is a picture or an illustration of Peter, one of Jesus' disciples. Now, Peter was a fisherman, and that meant he had a really hard life. He was very strong, very rugged. Um, but Peter was also known because he could be what we would call a bit brash. Sometimes he spoke out of term and sometimes a little hot headed. You know, he could do things without thinking and certainly use his physical strength and presence in a way that may not be what you know, was the best way. For example, when Jesus was being arrested to be taken away to be crucified, Peter's the one who drew out um, his sword and cut off the ear of one of the servants of the Romans who had come to arrest Jesus. He's also the guy who, when challenged the night before Jesus was crucified by people in the square, denied knowing Jesus. But he's also the guy who was a bit bold. And we saw that when Jesus um, called to him when they were in a storm and Peter was the one who got out of the boat and actually walked towards Jesus. Well, what do we mean by meek? Well, we certainly wouldn't think that Peter was meek and certainly he wasn't before he knew Jesus because as we just said, he was brash and a little hot headed. And in today's world, we sometimes think that if we said we're meek, that means we would be weak. And that would kind of make sense because meek and weak, well, they rhyme, don't they? But that's not the case, you see, because meek isn't weakness. Meek is actually about having an inner power and an inner strength that you don't use brashly or hot-headedly, but that you use gently. Now, to help me illustrate this, I've brought along with me this. It's a Bugatti. It's a sports car. Unfortunately, it's not the real thing. But this car can do up to 200 miles per hour. Now, if you or I got in it and started putting our feet on the pedals, the problem would be all that power in there would take us off, but we'd be out of control. And we'd end up crashing, probably hurting ourselves, and hopefully not, but could be hurting other people too. So you can see that power in the wrong hands or power used incorrectly can be very, very dangerous. But power used in the right way can be fantastic. So if I put an experienced driver in that car who knew how to softly touch the pedals, the brake and the accelerator at the right time, that car could travel at the top end, nearly 200 miles an hour, around corners, along straights, on a journey, and actually be very safe and be a wonderful experience. Where if I was driving it, it'd be very scary. So what we see here is that meek is about having power but using it in a gentle way for great results. Now, when we look back at Peter, we said before in his own strength, he was not meek. And when he used his own strength, it came out in the wrong way. But you know what, Peter, after Jesus rose, Jesus spent 40 days with his disciples before he went up to heaven. And when he went up to heaven, he left with them the Holy Spirit this most powerful thing that we can have within our lives, which is given to us freely when we accept Jesus as our saviour. And when the Holy Spirit rested on Peter and went within Peter, Peter then went forward to start to preach the gospel. And this guy who in his own physical strength made lots of errors, this guy with the Holy Spirit, by using it meekly, using it gently, spread the gospel throughout what we now know as the modern world. So he's listed as being one of the first people to, in a sense, start the faith or spread the word of Christianity. Now, just like God used Peter in a miraculous way, he can use you and I too. Therefore, if we accept Jesus, his Holy Spirit, into our lives, and if we follow his guidance and prompting and use the power of the Holy Spirit meekly, we can be strong, but we can also be gentle. And God can use us in many wonderful ways. Well, that's the end of this week's God Slot. It's been great to spend this time with you. And we pray and hope that you just have a good week. See you soon. Bye bye.